different interested people as well as council members and we've made uh, significant changes to the ordinance which is now before you. you you've already heard from some of, the speakers, some of those changes are. We're here today to uh, you know, ask for your approval on first reading. Chief Bennett from TPD is here and he'd like to make a few comments initially about you know the way they would attend utilize this ordinance if it's, it's put into place and then if that went on. Uh, you have to go through specific changes if you'd like. Good morning, Council. Good morning, Chairman. <clears throat> In the process of uh, consulting with legal and developing the ordinance for the RNC, you know, a lot of things come to mind. You know, listening to the commentary this morning and throughout the last uh, council session, um, the one thing that resonates with the police department a lot in development of the ordinance is the fact that you know when every officer signs up to do policing, the first thing they do is take an oath of office. And the first thing they do is say they're going to defend the Constitution from top to bottom. So that goes without saying. It's in our DNA. It's in every officer's DNA that's going to come up and try and keep the, the event safe, um, especially for the people that are the non-event builders, the visitors, the citizens of Tampa. So our job is to protect free speech. And it's our job to make the free speech uh, available to everybody and not just for those um, that feel that they want to control the space, possibly. And these things and these items in the ordinance have been seen in other ordinances in other cities um, to maybe disallow people to have that opportunity for free speech. And that's really what we truly are, is the defenders of free speech. And that's how we intend to use the ordinance to make sure that everybody has accessible opportunity for the First Amendment uh, action. And and that's what we plan to do in supporting the ordinance and, of course, the citizens and the visitors of Tampa, especially those that are part of the non-event uh, areas of Tampa. Thank you very much. Jim Schimmer again, just to highlight a couple of the changes, we, we eliminated any permit fees, we eliminated insurance and indemnification requirements, we increased the amount of time for permitted parades from 60 minutes to 90 minutes, which which based on our research and discussions with other cities, we believe would be more than enough time for, for a group to, to work to do our work to get to our official parade route. We've increased the amount of time for permitted public gatherings at our city parks from one hour to all day. We have reduced the size of what we're now calling the event zone. Um, and there's a there's, we we if there's any other lives. I mean those are the those are the basic, the main changes. We've made a couple of, you know, a couple of minor, minor adjustments as well. And like I said, we have we have had a series of meetings and have had a lot of discussion. And, and there's always uh, some of you saw the article that I sent yesterday about some of the things that happened in different cities earlier this week. And those are just examples of some of the things that we're trying to make sure that we're ready for in case those things happen during the RNC. And just, again, as you just heard from Chief Bennett, we we know that. Most of the visitors that are going to be coming here, not officially affiliated with the event, are going to be peaceful protesters that will be just looking to exercise their First Amendment rights. And we absolutely welcome all those people to Tampa. But we just want to make sure, because of what we've seen at other events, what we know is the current climate right now in our country, that we want to make sure that you know, to the extent that we have people that are that are not peaceful, that our police will have the tools available and keep our citizens safe and to keep everybody, everyone safe. And so we're here to answer answer questions and we would ask that you uh, pass this on first reading and then second reading would be a full public hearing like your like the normal process requires. Thank you. 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 Thank you.